everyone, my name is Melissa, and in this short video I want to demonstrate coalesce in the M language by examining two practical problems. Our first scenario deals with conditionally replacing values. So if column 2 contains an L, then I want whatever is in column 1, else keep what's in column 2. For the second example, we will look into a challenge which was provided by Excel BI on LinkedIn. If you're not familiar, please go check him out. VJ provides a daily challenge for you to solve. On weekdays on Excel and on weekends on Power Query. But in most cases, Excel challenges can also be solved with Power Query. This round, the goal is to filter out all of the strings that do not consist of two words. Alright, let's go to the Query Editor. So before we begin, please make sure to have your formula bar and query settings pane visible. If that's not the case, go to the View tab and you can toggle them on right here. So our first example. Now, not being familiar with Coalesce, you would use a condition to achieve the same result. Let's look into that. So I'll select column two. Go to the Transform tab, select Replace Values, and just press OK. This generated most of the syntax for me, and all I have to do is update whatever I want changed inside the formula bar. So once a table, now it already has that. Next, it wants the thing to look for, and we're looking for nulls to replace. And second, it wants to know what to replace that by. So each, if column two is null, so column two equals null, and I'm just going to copy that. Then I want whatever is in column one, else keep what is in column two. Press that check mark. Perfect. So as you might expect, this works perfectly fine. However, there's a more simple way to construct this logic, and that's using the coalesce operator in the M language, which is a double question mark. So I'll copy the full syntax here. Control C to copy that. And I'll press the ethics in front of the formula bar. To create a new step, select everything and paste that back, control V. So now we're going to update this using coalesce. So each column two, enter that double question mark here, then we want column one. Press that check mark. Perfect. So when column two isn't returning a null, you'll get the value from column two. But when it does return a null, then you get the value from column one. In other words, you can use coalesce when conditionally testing for null values. Let's take a look at our second example. And we need to filter out everything that doesn't consist out of two words. Again, I'll use the user interface to generate some M code for me by setting a random filter. So I'm just going to select something. And now we can update the syntax in the formula bar to see if a string contains two words or more than one word, words are usually separated by spaces. So we can split our text on a space. So each text split, press tab to select that. Refer to the name column, comma, and then enter a space here. All right. Let's press that check mark. Now, this returns an error because text.split, it returns a list of values. We want to keep rows that contain 
two words. So all we have to do is count the items that are in our list. We'll wrap list.count around it. So LC, search for list count, press tab to select that. And say equals to closing parentheses, press that check mark. So we are seeing an error because there was a null inside our data. To deal with that error, we could introduce a try and otherwise clause, but that will catch all types of errors. To deal with this specific error, so an error that's introduced because we encounter a null inside our data set, we can use the coalesce operator again. So inside the formula bar, we can test if the name column contains a null. So enter that coalesce sign. If it encounters a null, then we're going to present it another value. So I'm just going to give it an empty text string. Press that check mark. Perfect. In this video, you've seen two practical examples where coalesce can be implemented instead of an if then else statement or instead of a try and otherwise construct. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching. All the best. Hey everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.